Hello, flagship tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play Monster Hunter World with me, Blue Ankylo. And we got our metally ingot looking armor set on today. So, uh, today we're gonna take on another Elder Dragon, as you can probably tell if you can read the top left. Maybe it's all fuzzy and you're on a little phone or something. But anyway, <clears throat> we're fighting Nurgigante, or however you want to call him. Uh, he's definitely the horniest of all Elder Dragons, and, um,. He was the first enemy in Monster Hunter World that actually managed to make me fail a quest ever. So I always have a little bit of respect for him because he uh, he's very angry. And it took me a little bit longer to learn his patterns, assuming I learned them at all. Um, so he's specifically weak to thunder for uh, elements and then relatively weak to all statuses. And uh, yeah, so the cat is on Paralyze, I'm on Thunder. And I don't really have like an amazing armor set for this guy. But I'll show you what we're going with. So, I'm um, using, uh, let's see, where is it here? I'm using a fully upgraded Thunder Longsword. And then I'm using a set of armor that boosts up my Thunder Element even higher. As well as giving me a little bit of health boost, specifically from the Van Braces. Because uh, higher maximum HP means less likely to be killed by his super cheap attack. Which you'll probably see. A lot of the other things don't really matter, like Thunder Resistance, he doesn't do that. Windproof... Might help if I had more than one, two points in it. And defense boost does work, so a little bit more defense is not bad. Uh, some people might say it's bad, but whatever. It's not why I have this set. The main reason I have this set equipped is just to boost the thunder damage, really. And the health boost and the defense boost is just nice to stay alive a little bit. He doesn't really have an aura like the last three, um, the last three Elder Dragons, so you don't have to worry about that. I did forget to do a couple things, like mainly we have to use the rainbow colors all the time now. As it was so hard to unlock, I, uh, I have to show it off every time. And uh, I might have some decor- like I could put something into the the uh, the lightning long sword again. Uh, again, I would boost up the bolt even higher, like more thunder damage. But I've already hit the elemental cap for my weapon, so that won't do anything, even though that would seem pretty cool. Uh, if I could get Windproof, if I had a jewel for Windproof, but it might be like a 2 or 3 level jewel. Yeah, Wind Resist. So if it was like a, a better slot in my longsword, I could get minor Wind Pressure Negate, but we're not going to be able to do that. So I have to stick with one of the more boring ones, which means, you know, I may as well just swap over that attack jewel, because, you know, whatever. Uh, that's all I can really do. And then the other thing I forgot to do, I noticed, is I forgot mantles. So I'm gonna go Vitality Mantle, and... This guy can cause bleed, so I guess Immunity Mantle. And speaking of bleed, I'll probably never get a great time to show it off, but technically... We can bring some food. Uh, it's food, it looks like meat. It's a Astera Jerky, and that will immediately cure you of bleeding. Pretty sure this guy causes bleed, right? We'll figure it out soon enough. Oh, you may also notice I'm bringing some bombs because uh, he you can't trap him. He's an Elder Dragon. And if he gets to his lair, he's going to be really hard to kill. So when he's sleeping in his lair, I'd rather try to bomb him for some bonus damage than stick around. Uh, I'll show that off when we get there. But fighting him in his lair is terrible. So that's all for the prep. Let's go. Hey, if I can get the prep done in like two minutes, maybe three minutes, that's not bad. That's not bad. Alright, so Slay Nergigante. No big deal. I'm still using my Mega Cheater skins and demon stuff. Mostly just because I feel like my skill level decreases a little bit while I'm talking. So it's this is just to, uh, to balance it out. I'd probably play a little bit better if I wasn't trying to talk and explain what I was doing. Got my Stara Jerky. Got my Mantles. Got my Bombs. Cool drinks are just in case he goes to a hot area, then we've got uh, protection from heat ready to go. And that's it! Let's go fight ourselves a, uh, a Nergigante. Now, I probably haven't researched him very much either. As you may have noticed when we looked at the Hunter's Log, some of these monsters have only killed like two or three times. So if I'm not amazing, it's because I have only killed them a couple times. Simple enough. Should probably prep for uh, Might Seed. Oh look, there he is! This guy is going to be a little bit more aggro than uh, the last three that you can just walk behind. He doesn't straight up attack you, but, uh, well, that was a nice mount. But he won't allow you to just 
walk underneath them the way uh, Kushala and Teostra will. And I think Val as well. But this will be nice if we can get a knockdown right at the beginning. This will help. This also is a nice showcase for Nergigante. This is what he looks like from afar. Bird's eye view. Also, it gives my uh, my cat a chance to do some some songs, and they give us some more buffs while we're getting set up here. All right, Nergigante down. Oh yeah. So the horns you definitely want to break if you can, but they're very bouncy. Uh, there's d different times in the fight where they will be less bouncy. Um, but that will take some time, and hopefully you'll notice the color change when that happens. Okay, so we're going to be fighting this guy a little bit more defensively than, uh, the last couple. Although, that was a nice little counter move in there. I don't know why I'm going for the face. It's a terrible idea. Um, I should be going for his back legs and his, uh, tail. Can I get my combo? Yeah! Combo off. So, his most dangerous place is his front, although that's kind of an annoying cheat move, right? Like, that's totally cheating. Um, but yeah, he's got some really nasty claw swipes that will combo you into a death. <laughs> and that move with the, the, the when he uh, puffs his wings up like that... Oh, I got hit by that one again. Doesn't do too much damage, at least. Uh, but when the wings get puffed up, if you're beside him, you actually take a lot of damage. Uh, especially if he's enraged. At least I managed to dodge through it, that's what counts. Oh, I almost had it. Timing. Like I said, I've only killed this guy a few times, so my timing's not going to be as good yet. What am I doing? Sword. Okay, that was definitely not the right time to attack. If I get comboed out... Oh, that was close. Yeah, that's, that's the one that usually used to kill me. He, you get knocked over by some attack, and then he rears up on his back legs, and he does a ton of damage. Um, that and one other super move, which you'll see. Okay, managed to get me with his swing. And just out of range. A lot of times, if you're looking close, you may be noticing he's uh, he's got spikes flying around. Why did I lose my lock on? Jeez. Uh, not only are his spikes getting bigger as we fight <laughs> and changing color, uh, some of his attacks sort of shoot spikes. That's kind of his gimmick. Oh, this is it. So, <laughs> there is his special air attack. Oh, and I got stunned. This could be the death. I'm, I'm lucky he didn't attack me there. Come on, I gotta move, like, right now. But yeah, his uh, fly up in the air and then charge towards you has a very wide uh, angle of attack. It's pretty hard to actually avoid. It's really nice if you can pull off your... Uh, Longsword um, evade counter through it, but the timing is pretty tight. Okay, so we didn't die, and we scared him off, so that's uh, totally a success. I also forgot to use my Vitality Mantle, so let's be smart about that next time. And let's chase after him. So far, not so bad. Nergigante is, like, really quite rude. In fact, I am gonna... I'm going to sort of waste a potion, sort of, just to top off. I obviously have uh, a fair bit more defense on my armor than I would have the first time I fought him, so it's safer, because it's less likely he can kill me in a single attack. But, um, I would like to get that tail off. i also like to break his foot. Press the wrong button. <laughs> That's my excuse. And whiff and a whiff. All 
Alright, back into not being dumb mode. I'm gonna be a little bit more cautious. I feel like I got a little bit lucky on our first encounter for not getting killed by his, uh... Getting some good damage on his, uh, back, you know, wait, uh, his tail. Managed to actually get a counter through. That's a good flinch. That was, well, well, you saw that. That was what it was. <laughs> So I have to, I have to wait a little bit longer on that one. Oh, come on, get on. That wasted my potion, you jerk. I hate it when they do that. Start drinking a potion and they yell at you and then you just throw it on the ground and stop drinking it. All right, come on. Oh, it's this one. I didn't have anywhere near enough time to move. I didn't realize what attack that was in time. Alright, the good news is it only does half my life now. That's way better than the old days. I would like that. I am not allowed to have it. Can I please have this dragon pod, sir? There you go. <laughs> Just making him mad now. Come on, tail. Ooh, the bounce. I'm just gonna focus on the tail for a little while. I think it's getting close. It's gotta be getting close. Whiff! 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 He's, he's very spinny today, jeez. There we go. See, I knew it was getting close. Alright, how you doing there, Nergi? You getting tired? You should be getting tired. I've been fighting for like... Okay, that was... I, I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Sometimes he just moves too quick for you to dodge. Man, I've used a lot of Mega Potions. This is not promising. Okay. Uh, that was another waste. The fact, I think he's made me waste, like, half of my Mega Potions. Just trying to heal up. So, yeah. He's very... Haha! I can Superman dodge. Oh, good. His, his black... His... Okay. Hey, you know what? I don't know what else to say. <laughs> I'm trying to commentate, and I'm getting my butt kicked by Nergigante. Maybe he doesn't cause ca cause bleeding, and I brought this this mantle for nothing. Anyway, let's get our uh, sword a bit sharper because we're starting to bounce on stuff. And uh, did he go into the fire? I think he went into the fire. Actually, no, he went into my favorite room. Oh, so good. He's about to have a really bad day. So uh, this is my crystal room, and if you look up, there might be some fun. Do, 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 do. There you go, Nergiganti. How do you like it? How do you like me now? Now he'll probably be really mad, though. Drop a rock on his head. So there's a couple of those in this room. Uh, although I always forget exactly which ones you can knock down. I think this one. Oh, he's leaving! No! If he had told still. Ah, uh, he's 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 we did enough damage that now he's he's gonna go rest up. The bad news is well the good news is <laughs> there's good news and there's bad news. Bad news is that's not a dragon pod. No, um the really bad news is he's heading to his lair where he's got a huge defensive bonus. Uh the good news is he's gonna go to sleep so we can we can throw some bombs on him, and I haven't had a chance to show off uh, sleep bombing in uh, Monster Hunter World yet, so... Oh, but maybe he's not going to go there immediately. Uh, 
Well, at least I didn't get hit. I was thinking maybe I should try a... Are you kidding me? I didn't even have time to move before you did that attack. You are just not very nice. Ah, he's running away again. He just does his super attack, then he wanders off. How would you like Dragon Pawed up the butt? Got more. He doesn't care. He doesn't even care. Well, he's going to his lair, guys. Prepare for rip. Let me uh, just let him go to sleep, I guess. I'd rather at least get the bomb damage. <sighs> as soon as he stops moving, he curls up. Has a little nappy nap. Now, I believe they do regenerate some HP while they're napping, so maybe don't leave them there for too, too long. But, um... I don't think it's a super fast regen, it just... It just regens a bit. Alright, so we're gonna do a little bit of bombing. So I got these mega bomb barrels. I'm gonna put them right by his face, because where else would you put them? Cat's gonna sing us a little song on his bongo. What's it gonna be? We got ourselves negate stun. That is pretty helpful. All right, we're gonna go barrel bomb and or timed barrel bomb and get out of the way. Hey, we broke one of his uh, horns. Unfortunately, we're still bouncing off his other horn. They put on this mantle here because I don't have a lot of. Uh... All right, as soon as you wake him up, he always breaks that wall down. That's right. He doesn't actually focus that on you. This one, though. You know, I don't really bring a lot of flashes. Let's try flash. I don't know how effective they are on Nergigante. I don't really bring them because he doesn't really fly much. And when he's doing his super attack, flying is... Well, you don't really have time for flash bombs. How did that hit me? <laughs> Sometimes you're behind the, the monster and he just does the attack. It doesn't even matter. It's like, oh, come on. I can't even see him. How would you like to get flash banged again? You'd love it? That's what you get then. Now what? What's he doing over there? So, we haven't really had a chance for it to kill me, but did you see those spikes falling off of the roof there? Oh, he's dead. Well, that's nice! Uh, so we got... I think the bombs are really the, the strategy I like the most. Is When you chase him down to his, uh, his lair, um, you really don't want to fight him for very long in here. So every now and then, or kind of constantly while you're fighting him, little spikes will rain off of the roof. Now, they don't do a ton of damage if they hit you, but they'll knock you down. And if you're, like, about to get hit by him, and you're scared, you're like, Oh no, Nergigante can kill me in one hit, which he probably can. And one of those little spikes knocks you over, it can very easily combo you into a game over. Um, tech, traditionally, what would be is, like, I'd have knocked him over or something. Uh, you know, stunned him, flinched him, totally knocked him on his side. And then while I was smashing him, some spikes would rain down from the ceiling, trip me, and by the time I'd get up, he would stand up and then one-shot me with one of his power attacks. So, that's definitely something I've seen happen to me. Uh, and I hope that it does not happen to you as well, because it's pretty brutal. Honestly, it wasn't a bad Nergigante fight. I used a lot of Mega Potions. Uh, he, he interrupted a lot of Mega Potions, and I kind of wasted a couple, so... There's nothing specifically I need out of him. It'd be nice to get a gem. More horns are always useful. So it's nice to see some talons and stuff, but it's all good. I think I have a sword for him I should make as well. Entomologist parallel paralysis resistance. Nothing I needed. Well, there you go. That's a level up. And uh, we learned a little bit about Nergigante. <laughs> the, uh, the research team is really impressed with all of the monsters we've killed lately. Well, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. We've, uh... Let me just talk about what's coming up next. Uh, we've shown off, or I've shown off, that is to say, Xenogiva, Val, Kushala, Tiostra, Nergigante, at least once each. You know, that's not bad. 
Um, I'll probably want to show off some of these guys because they're really annoying. They're they're dangerous. So I'm, I'm going to go through some of the more dangerous monsters for the showcase. I'll probably need to show off Zora Magdaros at some point. Uh, although it's not my favorite fight in the world. You'll see when we get there. Kirin is technically an Elder Dragon, but I hate fighting Kirin so much that I'm not sure if I'm going to do much with him. But then a lot of the higher up in the listing ones, they're just really easy. Like, if I did a video showing off Great Jagras, it'd be over in like three minutes. So if I do these early easy guys, I'll probably do like three or four in a video. Just because we can burn through them so quick. Anyway, that's it for today's episode. Um... Like I said, I don't know how long this series will go for, but um, I'm having fun and uh, showing off a few cool things in uh, Monster Hunter World. And uh, I definitely, if you, if you haven't gathered yet, I highly recommend you play if you're interested at all. It's a really good game, and this is the first time a non-MMO Monster Hunter has ever come to the PC. So I recommend, I mean, yeah, it's follow your budget, obviously, but I think it's worth... Uh, a little bit of money to try to encourage Capcom to release more Monster Hunters on uh, on the PC, because I prefer widescreen big monitors to holding a tiny little uh, 3DS or a PSP trying to play the game. Anyway, thanks for watching, folks. Hope you've enjoyed. See you next time.